Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about some of the useful design and development tools that I use in my process. And we're going to start with CSS. So number one is Tailwind, which is my favorite CSS framework and I use it all the time in my project. And because it's a utility class framework, it gives me a lot of flexibility to work with it. And in future, I'm planning to have a comparison video between Tailwind CSS and Bootstrap. So stay tuned for that one. Now, speaking of Tailwind, uh, we have this other website that I use often for the Tailwind component called Mera KIUI. And this gives us different components that are designed with Tailwind. And we can just click on any of these and copy paste it into our code and customize it the way we want. It also offers dark and light so we know how it looks in different modes. If you're working with plain CSS, you might want to use media queries and this website called yesviz.com can be helpful. So this gives us the viewport of many devices out there, even smartwatches. And sometimes I use grid in my CSS and I find it a bit confusing because CSS grid is very powerful, but has a lot of properties. So this website helps me to get the proper result by looking at the grid visually. One of my favorite websites is CSS Loaders where you can easily get a CSS loading spinner just by clicking on one of these items and just copy paste this CSS code and take it to your project. So we have just one span tag and then the rest is CSS and we have a bunch of them. This is really nice. Next we have BG jar. Now this website gives us free SVG background generator. So we have all these templates where we can customize them, even a world map where we can turn off and on these countries on the map. And if you click on any of these, you can customize it simply by changing these variables. For the colors, I use a color hunt all the time. Now this gives me a lot of nice palettes where I can actually save them. I don't even need an account here so I can save or unsave them to make a, my own collection and use them in the future. So if you click on any palette, it will also give you the hex code of every color as well as the RGB units. Next, we have hypercolor, which gives us nice gradients where we can use it either with plain CSS or even Tailwind. This is what I like about it because they support Tailwind. So I can click on just this icon, which is for Tailwind and get the Tailwind code or the plain CSS or even an image. You can even generate your own gradient and have it as background for a text. And you have also these other effects like a mesh effect or a grainy effect. Next, we have glass morphism effect. Sometimes you want to use this on your website and this particular page on this website helps us to generate a glass morphism effect for our containers. Now, this website offers other things, but I use it mainly for this feature. So next we have some JavaScript related sites. And the first one is CDNJS. Uh, I'm sure you are familiar with this one. This website gives you almost all the JS libraries out there as a CDN. So if I want, for example, React DOM, I can just click on it. And then this gives me the CDN to that library as well as different versions and different variations of that library. Related to JavaScript, also we have Suite Alerts. Sometimes you want to implement alerts on your website, some sort of warning or success messages and so one and Sweet Alert is a very easy and useful package you can use in your website. So you, you also have demo alerts here. So you can click on these things and you can see some of them have icon, some of them have links. You can add as many customizable things as you want. Next up is Icon Oer. Icon Oer. I don't know what that is, but it gives us very nice minimal SVG icons. We can either download it or just copy it. And of course, we can search for the name of that icon and then use it in our project. This is again nice minimal icons. When it comes to fonts, I always use Google fonts, but also they offer icons. So if we go to Google fonts icons on the left, we can see they offer two sets of icons, if you will, two ways of implementing it. Uh, one is the material symbols and one is the icon. So the icons is the old way. So we don't have much customization on the icons. What with the symbols, we have more flexibility. But my go-to website for icons is always Font Awesome. So uh, most of the time I use Font Awesome because not only they have a lot of icons, but they give you ability to create your own kits, different kits for your different projects so you can manage and maintain them from within your account. All right, next one is Blob Maker. So this is a silly one, but sometimes you just want a piece of blob to use it for your design. It's kind of nice. And this website helps us to create different blobs as SVG and use it in the project. If you scroll down on this website, we also have this getwaves.io. So it's very similar to the Blob Maker, 
but this gives us a wave to use it in our project as an SVG. In terms of illustrations, I sometimes use many pixels. Many pixels offer some free illustrations that we can use in our website in different styles, so it's quite nice. If I want animated illustrations, I would go to Lottie Files. Now, this one gives us animated illustrations, which are some of them free, some of them are premium, but if you click on any of them, it shows you how you can use it in your website as an embedded HTML or using JavaScript or some other applications. Next stop, we have Pexels, a good resource for copyright free photos and videos. Next, we have Quick Tools. Now, this website gives us actually quite a lot of tools to work with, and most of them are free. I personally used the conversion tools a lot, so converting images into different formats, but they have background remover, uh, AI writer, and so many other tools, and you can explore this website. It's really nice. Next is Canva, my top favorite website in terms of designing posters or thumbnails for my YouTube videos or social media content and things like that. And they have a lot of tools to offer. And in fact, I'm planning to make a video on Canva alone, just sharing some of the features and the way I use it and the features they offer. So stay tuned for the video on Canva. Sometimes you want to generate a QR code for your website or business card and QR code monkey is a really nice website because you can customize the QR in terms of colors or adding an icon or even the design on how it should look like. So if I apply all these designs, for example, and create a QR code, it changes to that design. Next, we have HTML cheat sheet. So this is htmlcheatsheet.com and although it looks very simple and old it is incredibly useful it has almost anything that you would need in terms of creating a simple website sometimes you forget what to use or how to use certain tools for example with meta tags on an html document i always forget which one to use so i come to this website and check if i use them correctly or even have them at all and it's not just html cheat sheet you have css cheat sheet and JavaScript and also other tools like compressors, generators, and so on. It's a very useful website. I visit this website all the time. Next, we have Carbon. Now, this website is a nice service where you can just paste your code and design it the way you want so you can share it on social media that it looks really, really nice. And you can see here, you can change the theme as well as the language that you're using here and then export it or tweet it and share it on whichever platform you want. The next three websites are related to generating fake data or dummy data. So the first one is Lorem Pixum, which can generate just random images when you are working in development and you just need images for some reason. And you can easily just use this URL in your image tags and they have other options where you want to add width and height or a specific image. And it's really, really nice. Next we have Lorem Ipsum. It's you can get this in VS Code by typing Lorem, but sometimes you just want to copy paste it somewhere else. So this gives you the Lorem Ipsum text as many paragraphs as you need. And the last website that I use it to create dummy data sometimes is this Makaru, which is a nice website name. I like the name. And you can generate dummy data in different formats like SCV, JSON, and so on. So I use JSON often. And for example, I want the ID and I can choose which format that I want it to be. And you can see how many different categories and items and different units they have. So it's a very nice, powerful website to generate dummy data for your projects. And that is most of the websites that I use in my design and development process. So let me know in the comments if I used any important ones or if you have any suggestion, I would appreciate it. And I wanna thank you all for your likes, subscribes, views, and support. So thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.